Hello, and so today's tutorial, we're going to be using Commando JS with Discord JS to create our purge command. If you don't have a bot set up yet using Discord JS and Discord Commando, you can watch my previous tutorial, which shows you how to set it up correctly. You're more than welcome to follow this tutorial, even if you're not going to be using Discord JS Commando, because what you learn here will still apply regardless if you're using it or not. Okay, so for this tutorial, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and set up a new group for our commands. I'm going to consider this a moderation command. We'll have other moderation commands. So, what I want to do is create a group for that. And to do that, all you have to do is add in another entry to this array, which I'm going to do now. Once this entry is entered into the array, the next thing that we can do is actually create our subfolder in our commands folder that correlates with our moderation. Okay, so now that we have our new folder, we're going to go ahead and create our new file here, which is going to be our purge. Okay, so now that we have our new command file set up, I'm just going to go ahead and copy over an example command from Commando. Okay, so we have our base command here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, change all the base information here so it, it relates more to what we're trying to accomplish. For the group, make sure that you put uh, the same thing that you put in for your new registered group. So I created moderation, so I'm just going to copy this straight over. Okay, one thing worth mentioning is for this command, since our bot is not going to be verified, unfortunately, we won't be able to mass delete messages that are older than two weeks. Um, so that's just something that you should keep in mind. Once your bot is verified, I believe this limit will no longer exist. Um, so make sure you test with recent messages. Okay, so now that our basic information here is filled in, the next thing that we need to do is create an argument type um, for our purge command where we can pass in the amount of messages we'd like to delete. So on the commando guide here, you can see that we have an example of some commands with arguments. Uh, what we want is a command with some form of validation so we can ensure that our message doesn't exceed um, a 100 message delete count. So right here is actually what we're looking for. Okay, so I went ahead and pasted it in this args array here. And we're gonna go ahead and change up some information here. So the key is actually a unique identifier for our argument. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to something that makes a bit more sense for our scenario here. Then you want to go ahead and give a prompt. Um, this will basically happen whenever someone types in a command without the valid argument. I'm assuming it'll give you the message here that you're going to type now. Also, we're going to be working with the number amount. So instead of using string, you're going to want to replace this with integer. Okay, so now that we have our uh, integer typed in, I'm going to go ahead and set up some form of validation. So we want to ensure that the amount is not greater than um, 100. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and replace this with our new key uh, identifier, which will be amount. And then we just want to check to see if the amount is less than 101. Then now that we have this new argument set up, we can go ahead and uh, create a spot here in our arguments on our run method uh, where we can reference that amount. So to do that, you would go ahead and in these brackets here, you would put in the new key. So amount for us inside of here. If you had an, a different uh, set of arguments, you would separate them with commas. So for example, it would be amount and then the channel, for example. But in this case, we're just working with the amount. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Okay, so now that we have our arguments set up, everything's good to go. Uh, the next thing we need to do is actually find a method that will go ahead and delete the messages. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on the documentation and look for some method for deleting messages. Okay, so what I'm looking for here um, is I believe it's called bulk delete potentially. Yeah, right here. So we'll have a text channel and we can use bulk delete. And we actually have an example right here that we can use. Um, so let's go ahead and integrate this into our command. Okay, so I copy and paste this over. Our channel here, we're actually going to get this from our message, which is a uh, the message that was originally sent when running the command. So we can actually just do, I believe, message dot channel. And then instead of five, this is the amount that you're going to delete. We're going to go ahead and pass in amount. And then once it's done deleting all the messages, we're going to return something that will force our bot to send a message into the channel that the command was ran in. Okay, so now whenever the messages are deleted, our bot is basically going to say the author of the person that called the purge command purged uh, a size or the size based on or the amount we could say we don't even need to do this uh, we could just say purged amount and so if we pass in five it'll say the author purged five messages and so we can go ahead and try this out now 
Okay, there we go. So now you can see it's actually purging the messages. The next thing that we need to do is actually set up proper permissions because right now anyone can run this command, moderator or not. So to ensure that people can only run this command if they have the correct permissions, we're gonna have to take a look at the documents. What we're gonna wanna do is make it so they can only run this command if they can manage messages. Another thing is we need to ensure that the bot actually has the correct privileges to manage messages. Otherwise, if someone tries to run this command and the bot doesn't have privileges, it'll go ahead and uh, give us an error indicating that it needs to manage messages. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm on the commando guide here. Um, I'm actually under the handling permissions section and you can see there's an example command here that has client permissions and user permissions. Client is the bot itself and user is the user who is attempting to run the command. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and integrate it into our command. Okay, so I've copied this. One thing I just wanna change real quick is I just wanna make sure that the client has manage messages. So then I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm going to reload our commands using Discord Commando. You can just go ahead and restart your bot if you're not using Commando, and we're just gonna ensure that this command still works. Okay, so I've reloaded the command. I'm gonna go ahead and run it one more time, and it still works. Okay, so that'll conclude this video on how to make a purge command. If you guys like to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below if you have any questions. I appreciate you guys sticking around for this, and I hope you have a wonderful day or evening. Take care, guys.